Hey John here, so this thing's got like uh, 15 miles on it, it's all from plowing. I plowed like four times with it, the second time I plowed this cable broke and uh, I diagnosed it as thinking it was the lower roll there, just a, you know, it's not even a roller bearing, it's just a hollow tube with plastic bushing, so I did a repair on that, thought, you know, I was golden and uh, I could probably show you that video, but uh, it didn't, it didn't take, yeah. That thing is not supposed to have a groove in it. So the cable's ready to break again. And uh, it actually sawed <laughs> a hole in my uh, roller bearing. So then I thought, well, crap, I'm going to have to rectify this. I'm going to have to make something, jerry-rig something, right? Because this is uh, just a, this angle here is just not conducive of trying to pick this up from a, you know, from in here. Maybe out here a little better, but in here, not good. Sure enough. They actually make something for this. So I was just looking through these parts and uh, why isn't this included on the plow? I have no idea. So I gotta look at the directions here. Um, you know what we're gonna do about it. And this might, might not even do the trick. I don't know. But uh, there's a part missing. I have another part too for the top pulley. Uh, and I also bought one of these so the cable doesn't get. Uh, let me hook everything up and see if this rectifies anything. Uh, so I got the plow separated and uh, just to reiterate my first my first repair is a bust. I uh, can't believe that. I mean uh, come on now. You know when you buy something brand new you just expect it to work. Uh, so I'm gonna have to get rid of this uh, this whole contraption I guess. I might have to make something. I don't know. Because uh, the, uh, the new piece I have to go get it. I think it's much 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 smaller uh, but what I'm going to do here is uh, just just kind of tape put a piece of tape around here as tight as I can and because uh, I'm going to use a uh, a wheel a cutoff wheel to cut this and I kind of want to hold the uh, just going to go up here as tight as I can um, kind of want to hold the strands together because when it comes time to putting it through uh, the Burl, I guess it's called this thing here you know feeding it through around here with the frayed thing it's kind of problematic so this time live and learn I'm gonna try to cut it with some tape around there all right before I cut this cable I was just looking at this this is the plate right Oop, am I looking at the same thing here this is the plate that goes on here it does appear that it's gonna be uh, you know, we can bolt this up. I don't know if it goes this way or that way, but what I'm concerned with is uh, this thing didn't come with, uh, looks like some kind of plastic bushing. Look, it's not even a bearing. It's just basically a hole. What's with these folks with no bearings? So this is going to be rotating around, it looks like. So this is going to be rotating around a piece of, I'm assuming that's nylon. Yeah, I don't even know. So we're going to put that in there, right? And it's going to get uh, squashed into, into this deal here. Not a fan. <laughs> not a fan of uh, nylon because although this should be straight out now, you know, when it comes, uh, the way this kit is set up, it does appear to be, oops, I'm on this cable here. It does it appear to be, it's going to be straight up instead of like this, which would be problematic. It would just chew that bushing right up. I think it's going to be more straighter. But, that being said, man, why wouldn't they just do a, a pulley with a bearing? use the open end. The open end side, get on there, then use a socket or uh, open end wrench, box and whatever the hell. There we go. Same thing on this side. You can get to it from uh, the 
side angle. Let's have some pork on it. Okay. Let's put everything back together here. Alright. Does that fit? It does fit. You've got just enough room to get your fingers in there. Get that side started. So now I'm curious. Oh yeah. We can adjust this, it'll go up and down, but... Alright, so uh, this kit came with uh, this nylon bushing, right? Steel, I guess steel pulley, and these nylon uh, washers. So one goes there, one goes there, I'm assuming, there's no directions, but... Uh, so that is like a, uh, you know, flush piece. And I'm going to use, there's three holes here, there's one forward, all the way forward, there's one down, and there's one back and in. I'm going to use the back and in just because it's highest. And I'm going to. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to use the highest one. And it is a nylon lock washer, or lock nut. Not a fan. Not a fan. Throwing in the towel. That, that system is just junk. Junk. It's like a very fine line where those washers need to, you know, you can squeeze it too much and then it won't roll. And if you don't squeeze it enough, those little nylon washers will fall out. They appear to be in. From what I can see, what a terrible design. Why wouldn't you use a bearing? Shoot. I don't know. I'm actually going to take that back off. I'm going to measure that and get a proper goddamn pulley where I can squish it, where the bearing, you know, this is this, this just pressure fit is just stupid. Really, really waste of goddamn time. All right, so the original pulley, like I said, I don't think uh, it's going to work out. So I got this at uh, Old Homer's place. It's uh, actually for a garage door opener, but it's got a bearing in it, or you know, at least uh, yeah, what two of them? I'll show you the, show you the one. Um, it does have a bearing in the middle, and it fits in between. The, you know, fits in between here, so we can tighten it right up, right? So you have the, you know, you clamp it right shut, and it'll, and it'll still rotate. Uh, but this is pretty cheap. They do sell, I was going to get them on Amazon because they have uh, heavier duty ones. This is a cheap thing. Both of them, even the one on Amazon is a two piece unit and as you can see there's a, you know, they're just two pieces. But uh, heavy duty ones are riveted, you know, so it's uh, more unlikely that they're going to separate. And because this cable, this 316's cable is going to be riding in here, I'm a little bit worried about these, uh, the way these are design the two-piece unit because they're peened over a little bit just a hair so I have a feeling that the that that cable is just with the torque on it it might split this uh, bearing but what I'm also going to do is cut out I got some uh, stainless steel pretty thick stuff pretty stout stainless I'm going to make a circle out of this for two sides clamp them together and pop rivet them through the holes here and that way it'll beef it up and it, it won't be able to split I'll use a uh, stainless uh, plate and stainless rivets, so that should secure that from from. Uh, so basically, something like that, right? Just two big ass washers cut out. Now we can uh, drill some holes. I'll mark it from one side or the other, right? And uh, drill some holes, pop rivet it together, and that should hold it uh, secure. All right, so now it's pretty heavy. I uh, got the stainless in there, stainless rivets, and I'll try to peen these down a little bit because, uh, you know, where they fit into that, I want them rubbing on. Uh, they might clear, but I'm going to probably try to peen them down a little bit. 
All right, so I just ended up uh, just grinding them down a little bit, but so I don't know if this is going to work out or not. This is for a garage door, you know, like how much weight could be on that. And it's not exactly a bearing. It is a bearing. There's roller, there's uh, ball bearings in there. It is a bearing and there's a, a case, but, uh, you know, this thing did have an extreme amount of, although we're going to be running at a different angle. We'll see what happens here. I don't know, it seems to work out, but uh, under a load, you know, who knows? This uh, can't really get a good. No way to tell for sure just by doing it uh, by hand, but seems to be rotating. Let's go and uh, hook the rest of this thing up, see what happens. All right, so I got to put the hook back on there and uh, do that business. But this uh, this plow, that's what came with the, the lever kit. This is base here. That go, it, it looks pretty simple to do, putting this base on and this uh, arm and then just adjusting it. And then it's going to tug on that arm up higher. Uh, this is upside down, but I'll show you. Let me, let me get this together right quick. Guess first we're going to put this cable back together. I got this taped up so it didn't uh, do whatever, but I don't want to see if I can melt it. Freeze on the end here. Um, phew. Yeah. Now I can cinch this up. Looks like it's going to be really, really easy to do. You're saying take off these, uh, these four, one, two, three, four center bolts. Leave the two vertical ones out, I guess. This should be. saying I'm going to put the plug in. What they're saying is you want they want this to be angled as close as close to the bar as possible uh, using the bolts here and we're going to do that. So we might have to monkey with this a little bit to uh, get it into a spot that makes sense. So what they're saying is uh, this sucker as forward as you can get it, right? So, you, and there's, there's one, two, three, three positions. So that's here. But if we go here, let's try this position first. There and here. We we'll tighten that, and then this would. Uh, this would come. This down here is, this will go up here, right, as high as we can get it, let's see here. Let's see what that looks like. So, 
Right now it's barely touching that pulley, but it's almost straight out. It's a little bit too too much. And if I go if I go up more with the uh, with the plow, it's, this cable is going to hit the top of here. But as you can see, we've got uh, we've got plenty of travel. So let's move this whole plate up. actually moving with the cable so that's a good thing before it was just sawing the cable was sawing a hole in that uh, that tube screw the integrity in. Uh, I was thinking about just taking this bracket off and notching notching a uh, hole in there so we can go up higher with the pulley let's see how high we can go here well let's think about it why not that when we can move this pin down Right? Let's try that first. Let's move the pin down, see if anything changes with the height and the way it's uh, going up and down. Hmm. I don't know. Will that do anything? Let's see here. better higher or lower so it's interesting uh, changing that you know I'll show you this is uh, about two, 20 inches off the ground which uh, I don't know if you're gonna be building up a snowbank or pushing up a snowbank that's pretty good travel it's not quite uh, it's not quite hitting on the top here but the pulley is still free-flowing now so I'm still curious I mean because uh, the lowest the highest one we're about uh, 15 inches, I think it was, or maybe even less, 12 inches. Let's see here. So we'll get that down. Change this from here. What's a better torque angle? Straight in? And then up? I don't know. I might notch it out anyways. I'm going to take that apart and notch it. Because I like the idea of having this, uh, this plow beaming up three feet in the air. <laughs> yeah, so I'm thinking something like that. Now it's got a groove in there, right? i got to paint that up so it don't rust. But, uh, so now we got even that little bit is going to create another three, probably two, two three inches of uh, plow raise. Let's go, let's go see how much. And then uh, we'll test her out. <laughs> All right, so oddly enough, just that little notch... Uh, gave us an extra four inches uh, So we're now 20 or a full two feet <laughs> a full two feet off the ground which uh, Which is more than enough It's not quite blocking the vision, but uh, I gotta tell you that's that's gonna be uh, golden Especially if you want to push back or you know top a snowbank or or whatever the hell uh, So that's gonna work out good I likes I likes and uh, it's not exactly hitting a pulley until much later. Let's see here. Let's go down. Watch your beat. Right? It's actually going to work out pretty good. Or damn good. Let's see here. Nice. Sweet. So, only time will tell how long this one will hold up. Um, I might throw some fluid film in there, keep everything lubricated. Yeah, I thought something was wrong. But yeah, no, it rotates. I don't want to snap it in. But yeah, there's nothing going to impede. Probably should have tested it out to begin with. And uh, center line here. Yep, so that's good. 
we can go 45s and center line. So this thing's going to work out good. All right, let's see if we can break this thing immediately. <laughs> Just going to try to uh, cut down a snowbank. I like the idea that you can uh, go up there. Anyways, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. See you next time.